Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we made our way through the path to victory, which actually led us to Victory Road. In today's episode, we are going to go ahead and talk to Michael, who seems to have been waiting for us for quite a while. Rodri, I'm sorry for what I may have put you through while I was in my power-seeking mood. I put away that kind of life. An associate of mine wanted me to give you this to you. So with that, guys, we obtained the CEO Key Pass. He wished for you to meet him on the top floor at Fusion Co. That's in Palm Tree Resort. Okay, guys, so it looks like we are going to have to make our way back to Palm Tree Resort because someone is looking for us, an associate of Michael. Now, I think I know who it's going to be, but I'm also excited to find out. So let's go ahead and make our way back to Palm Tree Resort then, and then we're going to have to come back here, and that's a whole nother story that we're going to have to figure out. So let me go ahead. Where is Palm Tree Resort? I feel like I just complete. There it is. Let's go ahead and make our way there and find out what is going on today. Also, once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments on helping me, you know, pick out a dog if I get one. Thank you you guys so much for that it's really awesome to get to read your comments make sure you guys give this video a like it really helps the series so now guys i believe we are at the top of the palm tree resort and just as i thought it's rsp waiting for us and he seems to be looking into the distance let's talk to him michael gave you the key then i guess he was reliable after all i've been thinking a lot about what i've been doing with my life chasing you around for revenge what's the point let's battle one more time just for closure okay all right, that sounds good to me. So here we go, once for all, Rodri versus RSP Red Scarf Pikachu. So let's go ahead and take him on then, guys. Here we go, Wild Pikachu is level 50 now, and we will probably be one-hit KOing it yet again. It happens every time. I feel so bad for this little Pikachu that we just keep knocking him out over and over. But what can I say, guys? When our Pokemon are this strong, that's what's gonna happen. With that, guys, RSP has gone down we gained some xp i feel bad for this little guy i think i know that what i need to do i want to settle down with the trainer and battle for good instead of evil i don't care if you say yes or no you're going to be my trainer and what the fudge pikachu went to our pc all right guys so with that it looks like we have added rsp to our team i that's a little bit weird but i guess rsp has kind of just gone for it and joined our team which is also really cool so i'm excited for that now that we have rsp level 50 pikachu waiting in our pc that means we could literally just add that pokemon to our team if we wanted and i think that would be really really cool so with that guys let's go ahead and actually make our way back to the victory road path there is no way for us to actually fly back there, so we're gonna have to make our way to Darkwood Town, and then I'll just go ahead and meet you guys once I've made my way back. Okay, guys, so we made our way back. Pikachu's under a constant struggle for revenge, but he seems at peace with you. I don't feel like I belong in Tuna anymore. Regina filed for divorce, and there's nothing but bad memories. I'm going to the Sunare region for now. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I ended up releasing Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. It felt like the right thing to do. Pidgeot, use Fly. And with that, guys, it looks like Michael is trying to reform, and we are also going to go ahead and enter Victory Road. So with that, guys, we are going to be making our way through Victory Road. We are going to have a lot of battles, so let's go ahead and take on the first one. The battles are definitely going to be much tougher here in Victory Road, but I'm excited to finally make our way through it. So it looks like, oh my goodness, there's going to be a bunch of different paths here, and I don't even know which one's going to be the right one, so we're going to have to figure that out. It also looks like we're going to have another battle, though, so let's go ahead and put Kuz up in front. This guy's probably got some, you know, random Pokemon. Let's take him on. So easy does it. Let's begin to explore Victory Road then. Are you serious?
okay let's keep on moving through here then there are definitely going to be a lot of battles so we need to be prepared for that now as i said i don't know which way we're going but at least i picked up a couple of repels and i picked up you know some necessary equipment that we might need through here i know that we'll definitely need repels and the black flute actually doesn't repel pokemon as much as i would like but let's go ahead and take this guy on Okay, guys, let's keep on going and let's figure out where this place is going to take me. So, as I said, there are a bunch of different paths. So, I just hope that where the trainers are is the right direction to go. Also, where the heck are we getting this Goldeen from? Every time I see the Goldeen, I'm just like, what is going on with that? Why is there a Goldeen with us? Oh, you know what? I forgot that Goldeens are legendary Pokemon. That must be it. This place is definitely a bit confusing, I must say so, and it looks like we're going to have another battle. Okay guys, this must be the right path because there are so many battles here. Now, let's go ahead and figure this out because I want to make our way out of here. I want to get to the Elite Four and I want to start battling, you know? That's what it's all about. We're going to have to battle him too! Now, let's see if this will be the right way. Definitely, there's a waterfall here, so this has to be taking us in the right direction. Now, another thing I've been thinking about lately is whether we should build a new team once we reach the new region since we're getting close. So, I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about that because I think it's a good idea. We have the Eevee in the PC, and as you guys know, we have Pikachu as well. So, those are two Pokemon that we could use right off the bat, and I think that that is a pretty solid foundation for the beginning of a team. But let's go ahead and see where this is taking us. Let's see. Okay, this is where we were. Okay, so we just looped around. But I think it's a good idea, you know, once we get to a new region, since I believe the next region is going to be Johto. Johto, I know. We also have a Quillava too. So we have a couple Pokemon that we could use. And it sounds like a lot of fun. It might be something that I do, depending on what you guys tell me. But let's take this guy on. Okay, so there we have it. Hopefully this is this is definitely looking like the right way. There is so many different paths here. I feel like I'm in a, I'm just like in a corn maze, just like running around trying to figure out where it is. I've actually never gone in a corn maze. Something I want to do someday. Also, you know, I don't know what level the Elite Four are going to be, but all our Pokemon are probably going to be close to level 50 by the time we make our way to the Pokemon League. So hopefully, that'll be pretty good level. I'm hoping that the Elite Four are going to have, like, Pokemon around, like, level 55. Because if our Pokemon are at 50, I feel very confident that we can sweep it. There's so many trainers here, though. Honestly, this has to be one of the longest victory roads I've been on. Okay, let's keep on moving through here. This does look like the right direction because it seems like everything's kind of like looping around. It seems like we're heading higher up and higher up. So that's what makes me confident that we're going the right way. It looks like we will have another battle though. Let's head up these little ladders though. And we are very close guys. I'm feeling good. This definitely is the right way. So let's go ahead and make our way up this ladder. You got to check every stone though, guys. Once in a while, you'll find something good like that old amber we found, which you guys actually told me that we can use to resurrect a Aerodactyl. So that's another Pokemon that we could add too. You know, leave me some suggestions. I think it'll be really good to build together. With that though, guys, it looks like we have arrived at... or We're going to have a doubles battle? You know what? You know what time it is, guys. It's time to bring out Cheeky and Daenerys. You know, the deadly duo i like to call them so let's go ahead and prepare for this doubles battle and i hope we just crush these guys
the deadly duo pulls it off and with that guys we have arrived at the tuna league so next time we will continue from this point also you guys saw that our little kuza just learned a new move as well so we're looking quite good i'll be taking care of all the moves before we enter and take on the elite four make sure you guys leave me some tips and some comments on what's coming up make sure you guys give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching get bumped the elite four is coming up and i'll catch you guys in the next episode goodbye